Okay, what you're going to learn in this tutorial is how to put animation on your player character. And then what you see down below is our opponent character. You'll learn how to put that basic animation on that character as well. Uh, this obstacle here is an impassable obstacle. When we move down next to our opponent character, the AI activates. Our opponent character starts chasing after us, starts uh, firing at us. Uh, you'll learn how to put the sound effects on for when the opponent character chases after your player character. When our player uh, character gets far enough away from our opponent character, then the opponent character stops searching for our player character. Hi, this is Ali Arango of Game Visuals as well as LittleGuyCGI.com. Today I would like to show you how to set up basic top-down enemy AI in GDevelop 5. So let's get started. Okay, what you see in front of you is the basic GDevelop startup screen. I like to start these tutorials from scratch. So the first thing we're going to do is look to our left See where we see the scenes, we're going to click this plus button here. Then we see new scene. This uh, gray part that lights up right here, we're going to left click right on there. As soon as we do this, we have these options to the right, or this option to the right that says objects. We're going to click the plus button here. We have this uh, new menu here that pops up. Uh, we're going to choose for our new object that we want to add, sprite. We're going to left click on this. We're then going to left click uh, in object name. We're going to rename this player. Then what we're going to do is we're going to click this plus button to the right. And then we're going to where we see uh, animation zero. We're going to where we see this optional animation name. We're going to type in uh, idle. And what we want to do is bring in an idle frame for this. So we're going to click the uh, plus button here. Then we're going to go to wherever you have the uh, sprite stored at. And uh, I'll make these uh, these uh, sprites available to you where you can uh, go to the uh, information section and uh, download these sprites. So we're going to click idle here, click open, and there's our idle. That's fine. So we want to make it so that our player can uh, walk. So we're going to click this plus button to the right. We're going to click this plus button to the left. And then uh, what we're going to do is go to where our other sprites are at. So I have the sprites right here. So what I'm going to do is hold control, press A. This selects all of these walking sprites. I'm then going to click OK. Uh, now, what I want to do that I have all these sprites right here is I have this thing that says don't loop. I want this to loop, so I'm going to click this. So now this will loop. So this animation will continually play. So with that done, I'm going to click preview. And this lets us see how our speed is for our walk. I want to change the speed to make this slightly faster. So I'm going to change this so that it is 0 0.05 and then I am going to click apply. Okay, what we're going to do now is bring in our opponent sprite. So we're going to click plus here. We're going to go to sprite. We're going to name this opponent. We're going to click plus. Now what we're going to do here is a little different than what we did before. We're going to name this moving. So there's going to be no idle frame for this. We're going to click plus. We're going to look for where our sprites are at. We're going to, just like before, hold control, press A, then click open. So now we have all of these uh, sprites right here. What's different about this is we only have the one animation. We're not doing two animations. 
We're also leaving the speed at 0 0.08. We are going to click don't loop so that this loops and then we're going to click apply. So we're going to left click first. So I left click, you know, let my hand off the uh, mouse button. Now I'm left clicking, holding the mouse button, dragging this out. I'm going to left click. Now I can see these squares. I'm going to hold shift, go to this corner while holding shift, shrink this down, aiming for about the size of our player. I'll move this down here like that. Okay. Currently, we don't have any behaviors on our uh, two objects here. So we're going to click on player. I'm going to double click to go into player. And then here in player, I'm going to go to behaviors. Once I did that, you can see this purple line is right underneath behaviors. Now we want to click this plus button to the right. I then want to scroll down to where we see top down movement. I'm going to double click here. I'm fine with how uh, the default settings are for here. I'm then going to click apply. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is left click on opponent, double click to go into our settings for our opponent. I'm going to go to behaviors. Now we can see this purple line underneath behaviors. Uh, so what we're going to do is click the plus button to the right here. We're going to go down to path finding. So we're going to left click here. We're going to leave our settings at the uh, default settings that they are with the exception of this max speed. We're going to change this to 100 and then click apply. Okay. So now we're going to click play. And we can see our opponent is animating our player character is moving like they should. However, they are not animating. And this is because we have to set this up. The reason why this opponent character is animating is because we only have one animation for this. And that is what where normally would be the idle animation. So this doesn't need to set up. And that's, I had uh, told you that this was going to be a little different from that. This That's why we, as far as going through the tutorial, it's easier to work with how things are with having this already be set up to uh, animate. So everything is working as it should for what we currently have set up. We need to set up the animation to work with our player character. Okay, here in G Develop, where we set up our art is here, where we set up our actual programming and we're doing visual programming here with uh, G Develop 5. This is where we set up our visual programming. So we're going to left click here. We see this. There are no events. The way we get events is by clicking this button here. So now with uh, just by clicking this button, we have a position set up for us to set up conditions as well as actions. So a condition as well as an action is one event. The conditions uh, basically say when something happens to do something and then actions say what to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to click add condition and what we're setting up, what we're setting up now is for our uh, player character to animate when we move the character. So we're going to scroll down and what we want to look for is top down movement. We're going to left click here and then where we see this movement then is moving, we're going to left click is moving. We're going to select our player and then we're going to select OK. OK, so what we want to do now is we want to make this is an event. We want to make a sub event. A sub event is depending on dependent on this. A lot of times you don't need to make sub events. You can just make other events. It's, it's just more convenient. So to make a sub event, we're going to make sure that we have this blue line here clicked on. So if I click here, see how there's no blue line there? But when I click here, there is a blue line here. All right, so you want this blue line, and you want to click this second button right here. See, it says add a sub-event to the selected event. So we're going to click there to add a sub-event. So what we want to do now is we want to go to add condition, 
we want to go down to keyboard and then we're going to 